Hi everybody, welcome to this video where we're looking through the changes to the tournaments that Playdemic have just announced in the social hub. So let's see what we've got to deal with. Um, exciting changes coming to tournaments. Our aim is to create a fast-paced, fair environment where both skill and practice are encouraged and rewarded in equal measure. And here's the highlights of what they're going to do. No coin wagering. So once you've paid your buy-in, you're all paid up. There's no longer a fee to play each hole. So whereas before it was a thousand coins for each hole in rookie, and so on, ten thousand for pro, hundred for expert, and a million for master. These have all gone. No more shootouts. So one of the most requested changes from our wider community: tournament matches that end in a draw will no longer go to a shootout. So it's going to speed things along. Although for streamers, most of us forfeit anyway. New tournament victory chests. Have a look at these. Look at these coloured chests. Winning a tournament match will now reward a special chest dependent on the level of tournament in which you play. The chests will be more valuable than the current tournament match chests to account for the fact that some games might end in a draw. So that's pretty good for club development. Hopefully we'll get some decent things and it's more of a reward. Wins. Okay, here we go. Tournament wins provide a vital strategic element to each tournament hole, adding another level of challenge and variety to the game. In this update, our aim is to push those values in tournaments and test the skills of all competitors. Beginning with the stateside classics tournaments, so that's obviously what we're going to get next, wins will now change between difficulty levels, as they do currently, rounds qualifying opening and weekend and the front and back nine holes in the opening and weekend rounds so as we expected five different wins for each hole that we play bracketing we're introducing a modified tournament bracketing to ensure fairer tournament matchups rather than in using your weekly league we'll instead use your previous tournament performances to assess skill and group players fairly when entering a tournament, you're going to be placed in a skill tier for each difficulty. This will be displayed in the form of stars, which you'll be able to see before you choose your difficulty. Interesting. You will always play and be grouped against players that are in the exact same skill tier as you. The skill tier in which you competed will be permanently recorded on your tournament medal screen adding an extra level of prestige to those playing in the toughest brackets. So, this is going to be interesting. So we'll be able to see exactly how difficult the tournament brackets are. Just getting my head around this. So you, you don't have to choose them. Um, you're going to be placed in that. So basically, when you get your banner, as it says here, You'll be able to see if your rookie banner was in like a good, a tough bracket, three stars, or if it was a low bracket, one star. So that will um, that will be a lot better actually, because you can see how difficult your bracket was. Tournament practice. Wow, this is awesome. From Thursday, you'll be able to see an extra tab where you click play golf, the brand new tournament practice option. So this obviously they're not going to start putting the tournaments in only certain courses or from certain tee boxes. This will make sure you have equal opportunity to prepare without having to hunt down each of the new courses in tour play. Take on a live opponent at any of your available tournament levels on any tournament hole that you choose. We hope this area will be used as a virtual driving range to test outrageous shots or try new clubs without risking coins or trophies. Interesting. It's quick paced, has no coin wagerings, it's going to be completely free. No trophies or shootouts or chests, but costs one tournament practice token to enter. More information on those to come. So, how are we going to get tournament tokens? We don't know. Is that something you're going to have to buy in the shop? Is it something they're going to have to buy with real money? Or is it going to cost gems or coins? Who knows? But that's going to be interesting. So, Lots coming up. Um, I'm liking the sound of this. Obviously, we don't know what holes are going to be in the stateside tournament yet. Uh, stateside classics. You know, we can, I guess, guess that it's going to be some of our American-themed ones. Um, maybe uh, Santa Ventura City Park, perhaps. Who knows? 
but exciting. What do you think about the changes? Hopefully we'll be on later on today for the official reveal of the stateside classics, find out what holes we're going to get. But uh, let me know in the comments section below and join us later on where we're going to discuss this update in more detail. Thank you for watching and see you later on. Bye for now.